what's going on everybody rob here doing a really short video hopefully it's short on my rust spot i got you know i try to keep my van from rusting but i noticed back here there's a little rust spot so since the van's lifted in the front it gives me a little bit more room right here so I, oh that's the wrong one rust converter i need to go get my rust encapsulate not yeah that's rust converter that's the right one all right and then i got some clear because i'm just going to convert this and then i'm going to clear it I'm sorry, it was the fast stitch I was meaning. That's fast stitch, that's rust converter. I got a red scrubby. I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna scrub it down really good, but I'm gonna have to go see all the spots that are open up right here. Eventually, I'm gonna have to take this tire off and redo that, but I don't want that to rust through, but it's starting to rust right there. So I'm gonna pour some of this on this and then we'll scrub it in. Okay, so I just got some fast stitch on it. With my scrubby. And I'm scrubbing in where all the rust is at right now and you gotta let it dry give it some time and it'll turn that black see it's the rust is coming off right now but you got to get some time to work in there so anything i'm gonna do it really good there's a, a perforation right here that i'm gonna get in really good now you got to give it time to dry because it's going to turn that uh where the rust was at it's going to turn it black all right you could put some rust converter on it I'm gonna do that at a later time. I'm gonna just spray a little bit of black uh, acrylic enamel on it and then top coat it so the rust don't come back. You need a top coat because if you don't top coat, the rust is gonna come back. But why it has all this on it is so the rocks don't chip it off or whatever. So I am gonna have to undercoat it. Of course, there's gonna be more Eastwood products, but that's with the tire off. I just did the shock insulator. So let me let that dry and look for some black paint. I get. Now today's a terrible day to be doing this because of the humidity level in the sky. But you see, it's all turning black. All right, so I'm gonna, I, there's some right there that I could do on the side. So I'm gonna do one more thing of fast etch. But then when it dries again, I'm gonna pre it. After I pre it, I'm gonna wipe it down. And then I'm going to flat back primer and top coat it. Now this is, underside so it should have undercoating all i'm doing this is to temporarily stop that so when i get a chance i'm going to take the tire off and retreat this whole inside okay so it got mostly all the rust out there's a, a piece inside of there so uh, i'm not going to deal with that now that's going to be rust converted when i take this off i'll put the rust converter on it so right now i'm going to use pre and this gets you ready to paint spray some on this rag clean it really good and then i'm going to get the primer and hit it with some primer get that little bit now you can clean it off really good and get it to dry give it about five minutes to dry then i'm going to hit it with two coats of primer and two coats of clear it's a long time 40 minutes i'm going to give 10 minutes drying time in between okay now if you can see on my frame over here I rust proofed with rust encapsulator the whole frame, so it's all black like that. It's dirty, but it's black. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna put some extra over those holes that are exposed so they don't rust on me. It's extra coat. All those exposed holes since I'm here. And then I'm gonna clear coat over them also. So I'm going to do two coats of primer. You can see it's already all black, rust, rust uh, converted. Two coats of this, two coats of paint, two coats of... Actually, I'm just going to do one coat each just because uh, I'm going to redo it. Right now, I'm just trying to stop it from uh, rusting further. Normally, I give a 10-minute flash time in between everything. But it should be really longer today because with the more humidity you got, the, uh, the more humidity you got, it's not going to dry right so uh, it's a really overcast day so this is just to uh, slow it down i don't have time to do that i was doing the shock insulators today so 10 minute flash time then we're going to check it out all right so i got some gloss protective enamel just a little bit left in here so every little thing that i sprayed i'm just going over it was it's just uh showing because uh the what is it called the protective coating is coming off so there's no rust on it yet so all i'm doing is try to cover 
once exposed let it sit up for 10 minutes I'm trying to get the bottom but i can't really get a good angle let it set up for 10 minutes and then top coat it you know top coat is actually what gives you the the rust proofing now rocks can still pop up and hit it but um at least it gives it a little bit more protection till i get time till i get a chance to uh, take that wheel off and do it properly all right here's my last thing a protective clear coat i don't care how much this is right here this can's actually like eight bucks i used to get it for seven bucks before now it's like eight bucks Now what that does is a clear coat is actually a rust protector protects against rust and it's a little bit harder finish so i'm going to do one more coat of that then i'm done all right so i forgot to finish this video of yesterday so i'm finishing it today and i got light on my camera so this look how awesome that came out remember it was all rusted out and everything look at it and i filled in all these spaces right here but this was a place that had all rust coming through and i uh, i fast etched it and i just put a couple coats on it so what it's doing is it's basically buying me time so i really got time to go ahead and finish fixing it but you can't tell me that doesn't look nice i little by little when i see rust spots like that as soon as a chance i get i go in there and i take care of it and you should too